Uh, I moved to Norway to get a job here and uh, you know after I finished school uh, it was hard to, to get a job in Sweden so I uh, immigrated to Norway to, to work and started MMA at the same time and uh, yeah I just grew in front of the MMA environment here and the training that I got and the friends that I made so uh, I've been here ever since. Uh, Jack is a really good teammate. He always uh, there for you if you have a fight and pushing you and be in your corner and stuff like that. When Jack joined the team, he was uh, rough but a very talented guy, and he he, uh, he outworked me every time. Uh, Jack brought uh, the wrestling aspect of the game and uh, the high pace boxing. One time when we lived together, he, he just knocked on my door at 3 o'clock in the night and told me we need to go down in the basement and beat up some burglars. <laughs> and I have these nunchucks in my room. So we went down, down to the basement. We went down there silently like two ninjas with uh, nunchucks and was ready to beat some burglars. And did you find the burglars? No. <laughs> Jack is always evolving, so he is always uh, trying to do the uh, right things uh, when uh, it comes to training and talk to mental coach and stuff like that. So he he always evolving to reach the top. Sweden's Jack Hermansen is blazing a trail in the UFC's middleweight division. Such form has the Oslo-based fighter being discussed as a future title contender. Uh, Jack has all the potential in the world. He can be a world champion uh, very soon. When he's uh, going for the title, he, he's going to be a great champion. Yeah, I've been working with Mossen for uh, like basically my whole career. He's always been there for me. Yeah, always helped me to develop my game. We've trained together, we've sparred together, we've traveled the world together. We have been living together for several years as well. So we're just really, really tight and we know each other super well. He knows what I'm good at, he knows what I'm not that good at. So he, need, he, he really knows what I need to work on. And I trust him. Uh, I know that he's very competent and uh, that he um, he's always learning and uh, yeah, he's a great coach, so uh, uh, I believe that with him uh, in my corner uh, I can achieve the highest levels. Jack was a very polite, uh, nice, hardworking uh, guy when I first met him and uh, he still is, fortunately. Yeah, Jack has had a tremendous development from uh, when he started to train uh, MMA. He's a very, uh, one of the most hardworking persons uh, I know, and uh, so his development is also according uh, to his uh, uh, to his effort. A lot of people, when they are good at something, they focus to keep the same skill set and uh, don't put as much effort into working in, uh, on their weaknesses. But uh, Jack, uh, he he does the work. But whatever you tell him, he's gonna do it. In this uh, game you have to give uh, very much of yourself as a fighter and uh, as a training partner. Uh, I think uh, in doing that together we've been competing together, coaching each other, uh, developing together. Uh, he's been helping me improve my skill sets and vice versa and, and in, uh, in that uh, exchange I think we have uh, developed a, a very close, uh, close relationship. This particular opponent is a specialist in, in the stand-up. There's no big surprises that uh, he can uh, come come with. He's a very dangerous uh, stand-up fighter, a Thai boxer, but uh, his uh, chances for for beating uh, Jack is uh, on uh, on his punches mostly. I think Jack has a far more wide uh, skill set and also have, has larger chances to, to beat him with, uh, using the variety of his uh, skill set. He has more, uh, more tools. The task for this uh, camp has been to uh, emphasize those uh, skill sets and, and uh, use uh, Jack's uh, str strengths uh, in a most effective uh, way and also the, the dynamic changes between the skill sets. 
<laughs> as a principal, I, I don't predict fights that my guys are going to fight in because I think it can uh, make you biased in the way you coach and the way you, you approach the fight. So I'm sorry, but I'm not going to make a prediction. Okay. What do you think your fans should expect? Fans should expect a, a highly entertaining fight uh, and they, they should expect uh, Jack to come, uh, come with the win. It's going to be awesome to fight in Copenhagen in front of a home crowd, a lot of Swedes, Norwegian people, Danish people. Everybody's going to share it on me and I'm uh, really looking forward to that, to be, be performing in front of the Nordic fans. And uh, of course a lot of fa family, friends, training partners are going to be there and I just feel like uh, it's great to have them around, so I'm looking forward to that as well. Ever since he started working in, uh, with uh, with MMA, I, uh, that me broke. I was going to set us. I'm going to put that in. I'm going to distract him.